there were two people trained in forestry here in our faculty when I came here. I was the third. I was able to bring in some good students, show the faculty that we could bring in good students, then we were able to bring in additional faculty. One of the first things I told them was that, look, you're coming in here, it's a brand new program, we've just gotten accredited, and what you need to do from here on is make me look good. And they did. Timing was right. It was the beginning of the environmental movement, clean water, clean air, and, and that was very important. Also, you gotta look at uh, Dr. Hosner. He was, a, he was a bold leader. He was a mover. He was a shaker. He could convince anybody of almost anything. 25 years ago, we had the leadership and the vision to become an independent college at Virginia Tech that gives us the decision-making ability over these many years to direct our programs and our resources towards our natural resources and conservation, towards the portfolio of the college. In, in our field, given that we are very much long-term thinkers, uh, you have to have vision, and you have to have leaders that understand that vision. All the faculty certainly had a little bit of an influence on me. I have real good memories of Shep and Dave Smith at spring camp. Uh, certainly very fond memories of Otis Hall, uh, his caring nature when he was my freshman advisor. Uh, really took the time out to help me. Tech graduates are among the top in the country in terms of where they work, what they do, and what they've accomplished. I'm very proud of, of, of what our students have done all over the United States and all over the world. They are, they are leaders. We have passionate people who are passionate about the natural world and our resources and conservation, and without that, uh, we're not the same program. And so I think that's really what sets us apart. When the USA Today uh, College Edition rankings came out three years ago, we were number one, and we've been number one three years in a row. And it's a comprehensive ranking, reflects on Virginia Tech, reflects on our program, reflects on our students and the accomplishments. So we're really, really proud to be ranked the number one program in the nation. I think one of the things that makes this place particularly exceptional is the close working relationship between the, the faculty and staff. We tend to function as friends and colleagues, and there's not the sense of competition uh, that you find in a lot of colleges. Uh, we really do support each other. But I think one of the first things that happened uh, during my tenure at Zine was the movement of the geography department into the college. The meteorology program was another wonderful asset that we were able to create. And to the faculty's credit, they stepped up. And by the time that I left as dean, we were second only to the College of, of Engineering in terms of actual research grant amounts per faculty FTE. We had some good folks that knew how to be successful because they had already been successful. I have not found that our students, for, for the most part, just come, are coming to college to come to college. They're coming to college because they want to go out and work to protect these resources. What excites me the most about my job is when the students leave here and I see where they end up, you know, working for state or federal agencies or nonprofits or as researchers in academic institutions because then you know that the our goal here to send people out to um, conserve and protect natural resources is, is being multiplied, and that gives me hope. This summer, I'm working on a local property to conduct water quality and fish diversity studies, and what this will do is serve as a reference condition for our future researchers in the program to compare to, and that will help tell them if their stream restoration efforts are actually making a difference. With the new understanding of how important undergraduate research is, I think that students will have some very new, unique research experiences in the future to look forward to. I've already gotten experience working with amphibians, birds, mammals, camera trapping, GIS, so it's very involved. 
I think I'm getting a lot of useful field techniques from this experience, and I'm also going to publish a paper by the end of this, so that's very helpful. Nature has its own science, and it's been a study of mine to figure out how to combine nature and make it a business or make it sustainable for the future. Currently, I'm studying in sustainable biomaterials. Uh, I do a lot of research and things with wooden products and trying to figure out ways to innovate it, make it better for the future uh, through residential construction, through energy solutions, through chemical solutions, and trying to figure out how we can use the best material on the planet to better our society. For my future, I wish to always give back to the college that I graduated from. Uh, with conversations with the professors and um, the people around me, they've always been passionate about what they do. And I want to be able to bring that passion back to the college and open up opportunities for others behind me, because you're always representing Virginia Tech after you receive that degree. So I want to make sure I leave a good footprint for others to follow. That every indication we have is that Virginia Tech College of Natural Resource Environment alums are succeeding in everything they do and making a real difference in the world. I uh, certainly wouldn't be in the position that I'm in today without the time I spent at Virginia Tech. So because of that, I certainly feel a deep obligation uh, to give back just a part of what Virginia Tech has provided for me. Right now, I actually uh, support a, a scholarship to help undergraduate students. I actually serve as the advisory board chairman right now. I've supported the Wood Enterprise Institute and was lucky enough to purchase one of the tables, I think one of three tables that were made. One of the reasons I choose to do that too is to try to set an example for other alumni and for other students that I may interact with to see that as, hey, maybe I should do that at some point in my career when I'm able to do so. Having philanthropy in place to support uh, some fellowships for graduate students and undergraduate students allows the project to carry forward. And obviously, by supporting students, you're also supporting the what I think is the, the true mission of the college, to train students. And not everyone knows th uh, what you're doing, and they, we work to try to, to get the word out on our work, but you are working to protect these resources for people today and into the future. I have two kids at home. They they are into the outdoors. Do they know? Do they know the great diversity that's out there? Not quite yet. But if we don't work to protect that now, then they'll never have the chance to know it themselves. Problems today are complex and challenging. They're not just forestry problems. They're, they're problems of uh, of economics and of products for people and of social things and of geospatial things and of water. And so we have made a very intentional effort to broaden and diversify the college's portfolio these years from our traditional foundation in forestry and wildlife. My eyes and I think the college leadership eyes and the faculty uh, and our staff are we're looking to the future of the college and the things we need to do and, and will do. We have just really gotten started so we're right there with competing with the best of them from a very very minor start. Last year, it was ranked number one in the nation in natural resources. Um, that didn't happen overnight. That was developed over time, and, uh, and I see the, the leadership of today forging that forward, supporting students, supporting what they can do, helping provide them with the opportunities to serve their communities, to be happy in what they do, to serve the, the resource. That's what makes the world go round. Well, if you stop to think about it, we've come a hell of a long way.